creating recipe is not so difficult. We may edit it either on the cloud or directly on a display. I see that the print plate, printing plate width is already in. I need to define the position for horizontal position for the plate on the left hand side. And I also need to define staggering position. We will have three plates staggered and the first plate will be on position number one. So it's fine and I will store the first plate into a mounting sequence. Now Linda, you may notice that we did not define a register mark. This is because we will teach S-Mount the new register mark during the plate mounting process. So let me proceed with uh, plate number two. I move cameras in the middle. The second plate will be in the middle. I define the staggering position number two and I store the plate into the mounting sequence. I'm not defining the register marks. Would you like to try the third one? Okay, so I'll try. Move with cameras, horizontal position on the right. Mm -hmm. Good. Position number three. The, in terms of staggering, yes. And store it into the, uh, perfect, into the mounting sequence. So recipe is created and we may, may proceed with automatic mounting. This time we will do it automatically ourselves, not fully automatically. Okay, Linda, let's, so let's start with uh, mounting the plate. Uh, we need to place the register marks underneath the cameras. S-mount did not recognize the, the shape of the register mark, so I have to do it manually. Placing the red cross in the middle and confirm. And here it is, the new shape. So please try the second one. The red cross in the middle, excellent. And we got it there, so we may continue with plate mounting. So we are not using the table behind, uh, now the S-mount is doing the process accordingly by itself. In two steps, it's positioning now uh, the micro dots or cross marks in the position. It's finished, now it will start with a uh, mounting process. Let us do the second one. This time, S-mount already knows the dots, so it's fairly simple. I don't have to teach him. And we may proceed with the mounting accordingly. Okay, the second one is done. So now it's uh, your turn to mount the third plate. Good. S mount did recognize where it is. And now with two or three steps, it will align the register crosses into the position. See? Great. Perfectly aligned. And it will continue with the mounting procedure. So now as uh, sleeve is going down, the iris procedure has been initialized. And what we will do, we will measure topography of the printing plate, store it into RFID chip, and later on, on the printing press, we will use the data for fast make ready. Fully automatic process to set register and impression. That's iris. But during the plate mounting, the topography is also helpful because it helps us to identify if there is no, if there is any bubble after uh, between the plate and the tape. So at the end of the procedure, Iris will tell us if the mounting is done properly all across the printing plate. So let's take a look uh, at Iris. Uh, 
we see that Iris did not like this particular part. So we may click on it and camera automatically moves to that position and it's actually a barcode. And we know that we put a double, knee, a double tape underneath the barcode, so in this case it's okay. But in case there was a bubble, Iris would warn us right now and we would recognize the mistake during plate mounting and not later on during the printing process, which would be a bigger problem.